50 on a ramp properly. So on transition. First, let's get into backside. So for backside, we want that heel side lock and front toe side lock. So I'll show you one of those real quick. So you might think that to do a front side 50-50 properly, you just reverse the lock, but it's actually the same. It's still rear side, heel wheel, front toe side. So let's get a couple more over here. Let's talk about this guys because when people are first learning front 50s on transition they have a tendency to do double heel side especially street skaters and stuff because we just want to get up on that ramp and grind like it's a ledge because that's how we're comfortable right but what this makes harder is coming back in because when you're standing way up on the ramp you have to wait longer and like have a more planned execution of coming back in and it also makes it slightly more likely to do the old hang up. Not a lot more. Like, let me try. It, it feels really unnatural for me to do it wrong now, but this is how I used to do it for years. Because back in the day, I rode like, you know, 129 Indies. So we're talking 7.6 trucks, tall. And like, I just couldn't, I couldn't find both sides of my trucks and really know what I was doing. So I would just get up here like a street skater. And it wasn't until I started riding 8.5 trucks that it started to happen naturally and accidentally and then I realized oh this is the way in the light so I'm gonna show you guys the wrong way now ah, I hate it ah. yeah, don't like it don't like it so the only advantage that standing way up on there would have is that like you can possibly grind for longer because your weight is up on top of the ramp. But if you know anything about the origin of the 50-50 grind and why it's called that, is because you're not in the ramp and you're not on top of the ramp, you are 50-50. So half in, half out of the ramp. I gotta breathe for a second. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so now let's talk about how to get into that properly. Well, when I'm doing this, I really, like, when I first started accidentally doing these grinds properly, I did some and they felt really cool and I couldn't figure out what I was doing, but I was trying to stay in the ramp more and put my feet up, like trying to be a little more like this instead of so on the ramp. And I honestly thought I was doing double heel slide like this, but probably what was happening is I was accidentally going like this without really being aware of it. But that's part of it is like, you have to be comfortable not going up to the safety spot on top of the ramp where you have the ability to walk onto the deck. You have to be know that, you know, if you jump out of this, you're jumping into the ramp. And when I ride up to this, what I do is I try to stay back and I try not to like kind of pop or ollie. I try to just like ride onto the coping and really focus on first finding that heel side wheel. And then once I found that, I then really consciously press down on my front toe side like so you might even see sometimes if I slow down some of these clips I'm kind of like I might even start like this but I really quickly find it so let's do a couple more of those and see if we can pick up on any of that So even if I'm not actually full toe side on my front wheel, I'm often, you know, I might be a, an inch or two away from it and that feels safe and I know I'm in the right spot and ready to like just put a little weight on my heel. So that's the main thing. When you're doing anything front side, you don't want to keep your weight on your toe when you're coming in, like on your toe side edge where you hang up. You got to start transferring your weight into the ball of your foot and like 
You gotta visualize your weight on this side of the truck, really making sure that all your weight goes onto this wheel here, because if your weight and your focus is on your bottom wheel when you're coming in, then when this wheel gets here, it can clear that coping. It's able to just go like dunk and come back in. But if your weight is on the wrong side of your truck, the wrong side of your board, I always try and visualize my board is like, so this whole part from your base plate to here, I try and visualize this like an axis. And where is my weight on that axis? Because that is gonna determine what your board does when the time comes to go back in. So as I'm coming in, I'm really focusing on my weight being on the heel side axis up here so that pops right in. So that is how to do a front side 50-50 on transition properly. Don't get bent out of shape and stop doing them if you're one of the ride across the deck guys. I did that for years. Um, it's just the way that feels more comfortable for a lot of people when they're first learning them. Anyways, um, I'm almost done talking about it. So the one other thing is when you're 50 50 like that, it also helps you if you're trying to go around a corner, that helps keep you in the ramp and helps you carve around that transition. And I want you guys to just ignore the fact that, um, that at the end of that grind, my wheel slipped over there in that clip I just showed you. Um, it really is, it really does help you get around those corners when you learn how to be half in and half out of the ramp at the same time instead of like surfing the surfing the bottom or riding the top anyways um let's get a couple of quick little sessions in here some actual skating adriano is just currently trying to learn these right now so maybe we'll show you a little bit of his process of trying to do this um video is not over i'm just done talking for a bit this uh, this lens isn't wide enough to fill the mini ramp film a mini ramp session. We're gonna have to film it. Um, what is that? Who's that dude? Strobeck style. Strobeck style. Yeah. Zoom, board zoom face. Board face. Board face. stall is harder than the grind in my opinion. It might be a little less scary to try and learn, but it, it's harder. I grind it anyway. I grind it no matter what. So this is really good one. I think it depends on the ramp, but mine kind of wanted to naturally grind as well. Once, yeah. once you get up there. Yet. <laughs> I haven't done one post uh, meniscus. Oh. Were you going for the Bakey Smith? Yeah. Those are easy. I bet you could learn them. <laughs> I lost my Smiths when I uh, switched to 99A on this ramp. I was on 101 and they were going way better, but for some reason now, if I don't lean back so hard, I'm getting dra dragged in. Oh, See, this time you too, slipped out. Leaning back too hard. <laughs> I want 
good I want a good smith, this is annoying. I'm gonna do one of those today. That's all wrong, that ball run. <laughs> that fakey crook stall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sliding to the wrong side. I only learned it on this tiny baby ramp, but I, I just don't like it. Backside today. Nice. I'm just gonna film a few more fun little tricks. Um, nothing hard or showy off, maybe. I mean, for <laughs> me, right? I ain't no Grant Taylor, you guys. South. Oh, went for it. Uh, yeah, the end of the run. <laughs> I always got to have a few long 50s in the run because they're just so satisfying. Yeah, that was... Okay, maybe we'll close it out. Try and actually land a backside slide like that. You got the Smith? Yeah. Yeah, just feeling it. Yeah. Sliding quite a bit there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one properly slid. The scariest thing about those, I haven't, I haven't done one in probably like a decade. The scariest thing about those is like, you feel like you're gonna keep winding. And so it's hard to just like commit to coming back in. 
without feeling like you're gonna keep turning. But it's a small ramp, should be okay. Whoa! Feels so good. <laughs> you're sliding quite a bit of it too. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can slide quite a bit of it and land it though. You really need two people skating a ramp, at least like taking turns, or it's too much cardio. Oh, that properly slid. Are you planning on like coming back, obviously, to regular? Back to regular, yeah. yeah. That was close. I'm trying to do a different trick every time so you guys don't get bored. <laughs> Got the slide. It's got, good enough. Got the back lip. I'm tired, you guys. I hope you're doing awesome. Um, I hope this video was a little useful because front 50s are super rad. Once I figured out how to do them properly, I, I just I just did them more and more and more. Anyways, um, that back disaster slide was fun. I'm gonna do more. Turn off the camera. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Thanks, Adriano, for filming. Don't forget to check out his channel if you don't know about it yet. I'll try to remember to link it or something, but Adriano Fiore, most of you guys already know, especially the people that are already watching at this point, but thanks for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Guys, we forgot the most important thing, but I saved it for the most devoted people who are still watching. Our front 50s on transition, dad or bro. So I'm going to have to say they are full bro. Let's check out why. Back 50 is so conservative. You can see when you're gonna come back in. You're more on the ramp and you're standing up a little more. It's like, I can see exactly where this is going. This is like buying bonds instead of like, instead of like a gnarly stock or some crypto. NFT. It's so safe. But front side, Front side's got some uncertainty. You gotta be real laid back and ride the waves to do a nice one. Front side is bro. You gotta just hang out with it, whatever it decides to do. Whoa! See, that was way more gnar than backside. Front side, definitely bro. Backside dad, we're out of here. <laughs>